Next uh, presentation is changing capacitor bank locations for adequate reactive energy compensation by Lydia Koronovic. I'm Lydia Koronovic. I'm with the Faculty of Electronic Engineering, University of Nish, Serbia. And I will present a paper, Changing Capacitor Bank Locations for Adequate Reactive Energy Compensation. As we know, benefits from shunt capacitor uh, banks are numerous for distribution companies. For example, voltage profile improvement, network capacity is increased then power and energy losses are lowered, therefore efficiency of the network is improved. Therefore, it is very important to have these capacitor banks. Also, when power flow is low, uh, consumers themselves use to install capacitor banks to uh, avoid excessive reactive energy com uh, consumption, which is charged. In some cases, however, there is overcompensation. It, it, here, uh, oversized capacitor banks appears in distribution networks, and it uh, causes a lot of problems. For example, decrease of network helping capacities also, higher losses, and uh, uh, voltage that are not, uh, not okay in uh, network. <coughs> Methodology of uh, improving improving uh, power factor in distribution networks is uh, presented in this paper. It is based on measurements in uh, distribution networks on the lower voltage side of transformer substations, 10 to 0 0.4 kilowatts, and in uh, transformer stations, substations that supply different load classes, and the measurements were performed in different seasons and in uh, transformer uh, substations with and without capacitor banks. At the end of measurements, average power factor is calculated. Also, the methodology is economically justified uh, and uh, it is done uh, because two uh, costs are calculated and com uh, compared to each other. The first one is un uh, the cost of uninstallation of capacitor banks from transformer substations where overcompensation is noticed and their installation in transformer substations without capacitor banks and the low power factor and in transformer substations uh, which uh, have capacitor banks but insufficient compensation is noticed. <coughs> Another cost are purchase of installation of new uh, capacitor banks in transformer substations with insufficient compensation and their installation in these transformer substations. It is uh, calculated that in the case of capacitor banks which uh, have the weighted power uh, greater or, or equal to 10 kilohertz, I is uh, less than J, and then cheaper is to install capacitor banks from transformer substation and install them in other transformer substations uh, where insufficient compensation is noticed. Another case in, is for capacitor banks uh, which rated power is uh, less than 5 kilohertz, but uh, this uh, uh, capacitor banks are not the subject of this paper because uh, exempt uh, distribution network do not use these capacitor banks. The overview of suggested methodology is finalized with uh, uh, making groups of transformer uh, substations in which uh, overcompensation is noticed and uh, and uh, uh, noted uh, the number 
and the rated power of capacitor banks which, has, uh, which are uh, uh, installed in this solar substations and noted the number of uh, capacitor banks uh, and their number and rated power which should be uninstalled from these substations. Another group of transformers are uh, transformer substations in which capacitor banks are not installed and where it is uh, found that new capacitor banks should be installed. May, maybe new, maybe this one which are uninstalled from other transformer uh, substation with overcompensation. Uh, there is an example. Uh, transformer substation uh, one is uh, selected and it is found that in this transformer substation overcompensation occurred in all uh, seasons. It is uh, it can be noticed uh, in this uh, graph because uh, reactive power is negative. It is also found that uh, an installation of uh, three capacitor banks should uh, uh, lead to power factor which is in a proper range, in voltage range. Therefore, one uh, capacitor bank with only uh, 25 kilohertz uh, capacitor bank should be enough for this transformer substation. In transformer substation uh, 2, uh, in sufficient range, there is power factor, factor which is pretty low, below 0 0.95 in all season, seasons. It is found that uh, installation of only one uh, capacitor bank with rated power of 25 kilohertz will, uh, will improve this uh, power factor to be in the wanted range. In transformer substation 3, it is found that in summer season uh, power factor is below wanted uh, range and that installation of, of one and two capacitor banks of uh, rated power of 25 kilohertz will improve power factor. Therefore, uh, we can use uh, capacitor brain, uh, banks from transformer substation one and uh, install them in transformer substation two and in this, uh, transformer substation three. Therefore, uh, the aim of uh, this paper is to explain methodology to uh, to improve power factor is in transformer substation in economically justified way and it is very useful for utilities which uh, have problem with overcompensation and that which have uh, low budget for installing new capacitor banks uh, by new uh, capacitor banks or uh, by expensive, more expensive switch capacitor banks. Thank you for your attention.